Now, the winter storm is winding down, but you still need to be careful on the roads. And we do have the breakfast bar telling you about delays and closings. Let's begin our team coverage with meteorologist Tim Williams. Tim. Well, good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. Lynn just summed it up. You have to be careful out on the roads. You know, there are some roads that are, are treated, have been tended to very nicely. There are some that well, the crews have had a challenge to keep up with. So what we're dealing with here is still the last round of this two-day system that's moving on through, extends all the way to the Canadian line, back over toward uh, Cleveland and Columbus, back over toward Cincinnati, the Ohio Valley, down to the south. It extends all the way down into the Carolinas. And of course, Maryland right smack in the middle in that uh, band of of darker color there you're seeing is right smack in the middle of the state right across Baltimore right on into uh, DC into Severn and we're looking at it really kind of making its way on through it's moving down the rotation has it swinging down across the northern portion of the state and then right on down into the middle right on into central Maryland so you're going to be dealing with some moisture on the roads again some light dusting on your car and certainly if it's a uh, you know a road which they all are below freezing right now you're going to be dealing with some slick spots again this morning like you were yesterday and again road crews are trying but the stove is still moving across the area so Marty we've been talking about how this has been playing out it looks like it's going to take several more hours before we start to see it move out absolutely and you're showing the width and girth of this storm I just saw a tweet from Marlon Humphrey who's doing his off season at his home in Alabama and he writes it's be more cold in Alabama right now minus the snow wow this storm is really affecting millions and millions and millions of folks. Advisories, warnings in the area should drop at 9 o'clock. We'll see if that happens. Snow total so far over 11 and a half inches. Thurmont, not unexpected. Basically 7, 7 and a half, Forest Hill, Norrisville, Manchester, Risertown, 6 and 5 inches. Snow showers will linger as we move through the day. Strong winds will maybe gust 30 miles an hour, which will blow some snow off trees, roofs, and, uh, and lawns back into the streets. And that can become very problematic. You're driving down the street, it looks clear. And here's like a, a finger of snow sitting out, and that's what you slide on. Wind chill values today in the teens, let's put it to you that way. We've entered the snowiest month of the year, which also can be the mildest month of the year. February is very, very finicky. Normally we get about eight inches snow. Pretty much got that right now. 